Ich will. Ich will. Ich will. Scott in here? Yeah, the guy's in here. All right. Hey. Hey, wake up. Where am I? You've been hard to track down. I have a few questions to ask you, and I hope you'll cooperate. Where am I? I found this in your, I found this in your briefcase. All right. Now, basically, what this is all about is, uh, what's the formula? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what this is. Damn it, what the phone is. Don't play me for a fool. Relax. Relax, agent. All right? Go get something to drink. We're all tired here. Oh, by the way, Bumble, do you want anything to drink? Yeah, uh, water would be fine. What well, the you, freak? Well, you can't have any until you give us the damn formula. I don't want to have to do this the hard way. Just give us the formula. <sighs> okay, okay. I'll give you the formula. Alright, if a prism has a lateral area of L square units and a height of H units and each base has a perimeter of P units, then L equals what? PH. Alright, so just tell me what theorem 12.1 is. I already gave you everything I know. Please, just leave me alone. Uh-huh. Maybe this will refresh your memory. Dad, what is this place? That's it. Now just tell me what I need to know, and we can all get along. You guys are freaking sick. You can't have my son. If a prism has a surface area of S square units, and a height of H units, and each base has a perimeter of P units, and an area of B square units, then... You promise to give my son back? I promise. Well then, S equals PH plus 2B. All right, if a cylinder has a lateral area of L square units and a height of H units and the bases have radii of R units, then... L equals 2 pi RH. Good. Here we are. Theorem 12.4. If a cylinder has a surface area of S square units and a height of H units and the bases have radii of R units, then... S equals 2 pi RH plus 2 pi R squared. 
Okay, if a prism has a volume of V cubic units, a base with an area of B square units, and a height of H units, then V equals what? B equals BH. Okay, bung ho. The next uh, section 12.4 is going to be pretty tough, but I'm sure you can remember all the theorems. I, I, I really don't know any of these. It's... Let me try to remember it back. You have to remember. Think back. Think back and remember. The master. Master who? Master who? The lone master. Master, I've waited many moons to come under you and train the art of geometry. Fun makes you think you have what it takes, but you can't even begin to phantom what I have to teach you. Hmm. I can handle anything you have to offer. Hmm. Then what does the circumference of my beard? That was easy. What is the circumference of the pyramids in Egypt divided by 16? Two thousand eight hundred forty-three feet. I said centimeters. Seven thousand eight hundred ninety centimeters. Perhaps you have what it takes to study under me. The training begins. Get on the floor. Pasta! Pasta! What is the circumference of the earth? Seven thousand eight hundred ninety-three kilometers. In circumference. I'm going old and weak. In this paper is your name. For well, you must carry on the legacy. Take this paper. Are you sure, Master? Your new name is... Master. No, Master. Master! No, Master! I remember everything. Insect in my ear. Oh my god, oh my god, he's oh my like god. This, he's like, <laughs> is there a Did an insect climb into my ear? <laughs> no. Let's go. That's an earwake and they, they eat your brain. <laughs>